Since the beginning of time, the ocean has served as a wellspring for both life and death. It possesses the power to both create and destroy, as well as the ability to bring both happiness and sadness. And when it comes to tsunamis, the devastation that they bring is truly heartbreaking to witness. In this script, we will delve into the ghost stories that have emerged as a result of two of the most infamous tsunamis in the history of the world. The earthquake and tsunami that occurred in Thailand in 2004 as a result of the Indian Ocean, and the earthquake and tsunami that occurred in Japan as a result of the Tohoku. According to the Japan Fire and Disaster Management Agency, the tsunami was responsible for the deaths of over 15,000 people and the disappearance of 2,500 others. It is easy to see why those who survived the disaster but lost their homes, loved ones, and frequently both have had a difficult time adjusting to life after the catastrophe. 2004 was the year that the world was shaken by one of the most devastating natural disasters in recent memory, which was the earthquake and tsunami that occurred in the Indian Ocean. When the waves reached the shores of Thailand, they caused widespread destruction and were responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. However, as time passed, strange and eerie stories began to emerge. These were stories about ghosts and spirits in Thailand that were said to haunt the areas that were devastated by the tsunami. Before we start to reveal make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's start. The Ghost of Khao Lak One of the regions in Thailand that was hit the hardest was Khao Lak, and it was in this region that people first started reporting strange occurrences. They claimed that they had seen the ghost of a woman who was looking for her missing child as she wandered aimlessly through the streets, her body covered in cuts and bruises. Some people stated that they had seen her walking along the beach at night, with tears streaming down her face and her hair and dress drenched in salt water from the ocean. The Haunted Hotel A hotel in Khao Lak that was completely wiped out by the tsunami is rumored to still be haunted by its former guests. This is another popular tale from the area. It was thought that the spirits of individuals who had passed away in the hotel still lingered there to this day, and that anybody who dared to visit the building may see their ghostly apparitions. People said they had seen ghostly shadows move around in the rooms, heard unexplained noises, and some even claimed to have seen the spectral image of a woman float above their beds. Now let's move towards Japan, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. In the year 2011, Japan was struck by a devastating earthquake and tsunami, which resulted in widespread devastation and the deaths of thousands of people. However, as time passed, odd and unsettling stories began to emerge. These were stories of ghosts and spirits that were said to haunt the areas that were devastated by the tsunami in Japan. The Ghost Ship of Ishinomaki The tale of the ghost ship that was said to have been found in Ishinomaki after the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami is one of the most well-known ghost stories. It was reported that a phantom ship emerged on the horizon, its sails frayed and torn, and that the crew of the ship was made up of the ghosts of those who had died as a result of the tsunami. The ship would vanish for a while before reappearing. The spectral presence of the vessel served as a warning of the impending disaster. The Haunted School Another story that gained widespread attention was the one about a school in the city of Rikuzantakata that was wiped out by the tsunami. It was stated that the ghosts of the children who perished in the school still remain there to this day, and that those who have the courage to go inside have reported seeing their spectral apparitions. People claim to have seen ghostly shadows moving around in the classrooms, as well as heard unexplained noises, and some even claim to have seen the spectral image of a child floating in the air. Conclusion An extensive amount of research on the spiritual encounters that occurred after the tsunami was conducted by Perry, who is also the Asia editor of the Times of London. The book that came out of it recounts the ghost stories that came from the area that was devastated by the tsunami and seeks to explain them. Grief is no more effective at solving problems than a blow to the head or a debilitating illness. It adds stress and complications to the situation. It amplifies both anxiety and tension in the body. It causes fissures to become cracks, and cracks to become chasms that are wide open, he is a writer. Thousands of people, along with their families, unexpectedly lost their lives, which caused waves of unresolved anguish for everyone involved. The accounts of spectral encounters that took place in taxis, Local newspaper The Asahi Shimbun published an article in 2016 with the title, In the Months After the Tsunami, Taxi Drivers Report, Ghost Passengers in Areas Devastated by the 2011 Tsunami. The article was originally written in 2016, which has since been removed from its site. A woman who, several months after the tsunami, got into a taxi and asked to be taken to the Miyagi district, which had been completely obliterated, is the subject of one account that stands out as particularly vivid. After informing her of Miyagi's demise, the cab driver revealed that the strange passenger then asked him, Have I died? After he had told him about Miyagi's demise. 
Another taxi driver relates a story that is very similar to the first. A young man of approximately 20 years of age who was dressed in a bulky coat entered the taxi. The motorist had the impression that there was something off about the passenger. The sun had already set by the time they arrived at the destination. When he turned around again, the passenger was no longer there. Which story haunted you the most? Share your feedback with us in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.